Okay, okay. This is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. Because I get quite a lot of, a lot of hate on, uh, on YouTube for doing, doing videos where my bike is left in that position. Big at the front, big at the rear. Now, I agree, it's not ideal when you're cycling. Um, Campag and Shimano both say it's not the right gear. You should be able to drop down into the smaller ring at the front and then use the, the rest of the cassette at the rear to kind of find the gear you want. You should never use big, big. SRAM, however, call it the pro's choice because all the pros, despite being told all the information, they all tend to run in a big, big ring. Um, that's not my words, that's coming from the head of SRAM. But enough of that. Do cable stretch. Does leaving, does leaving your bike in that position, your gears in that position, does it cause cable stretch? Well, no, it doesn't. Because those little springs are just little springs. They're not generating enough power to destroy the head of a gear cable. Why is that? Because this gear cable end is actually bonded on there to withstand 600 pounds of pressure. Now 600 pounds of pressure, that's three times as much as me. I mean, I'm well, more than three times as much as me. I weigh 185 pounds, and if I sat still the end of there, I could not pull it off. That's just me, 185 pounds. So 600 pounds, three times as much as me. Ain't gonna happen, okay? That ain't gonna happen with me applying my pressure, my thumb, or my finger on a shifter it's not going to pull the end off. Now, don't get me wrong, I bet some of you out there say, oh, I've had my cable snap, I've had this fray and whatever. They do have, that does happen. Cables do fray, they do snap. But it's not because of the pressure they're under. They're not under enough load for these to snap. Um, corrosion, uh, a lot of nicks here and there, uh, the, way, the way they chafe, the way they bend, that can cause a fray and then for, cause a snap. But they never just snap under pure load. Now, you could say to me, Rich, well, I, I've, had, I've, had a, I've had a gears before on my bike, working perfectly one day and the next day they're not because I left it in big big or whatever gear um, or even just through a ride over time the cables stretch they don't stretch and this is why I'm going to show you why they don't stretch and this is how you can actually set up your gears better and have a better running gear system okay so watch okay so this is a bike I just worked on it's got a new chain a new cassette a new gear cable which I've not cut down yet um, a new mech and I've re re refurbed the outer cable. To be fair, those eagle eye of you, the post this cable is a little bit too short. I like my cable loops to be a bit longer, but for the time being, I've left it as it is. Now, gear wise, gears as you can see are working completely fine. Index and lovely. However, if I was to leave this bike set up as it is now, they won't. Reason being that is because the cable stretch will occur. But the cable is not actually stretching, it's the outer ferrules that are stretching. Or well, it's the outer gear cable that's stretching in the ferrules. What I mean by that? Down here, um, you've got your gear cable ferrule, which is this bit here, and then you've got your gear cable outer. What's actually happening, the whole gear cable stretch as people refer to, is the gear cable outer is being compressed into the ferrule here which basically creates, allows the cable to be longer. When the cable gets longer, it basically allows the shifting to go out. So, a tip of, one of my little tip of mine is, let me put this back. Whenever you set a gear system up, um, mountain bike, road bike, whatever, the bike works in gear cable tension. Just put it in the highest gear, hold on to the mech, and then while you hold on to the mech, stop it from moving, just run a, a uh, through a few uh, pushes of the of the shifter, release it, and now I guarantee you the gears won't work properly as they were before. So I ran through, and already the first shift didn't go up. Second one's catching. Here now, start to go out. We make it to the end. Just makes it to the, the lowest gear. There you go. Just jump down one. Try and go. Oh, all over the place. In case you didn't see what I did, basically I'm holding onto the mech. I'm just pushing or well, indexing the gear shifter a few times. And you can see that the cable goes baggy. So whenever you set up a new gear, or put a new gear cable into your bike, new gear cables, etc. Um, always do this. I used to when you start external cable routed um, gears, you can grab hold of the cable and pull on the cable, which is a bit, a bit, a bit a bit dodgy sometimes. You, you can damage the frame because if it's, it's a you know if it's a um, riveted on a cable guy, for example, you can pull it off. So I do find using the shifter, um, actually pushing the shifter through through a few a few indexes um, like that. You'll know 
as you go through the few index, you'll feel that the tension get greater and greater. Don't ride it through. You're not trying to damage the shift, you're just trying to apply pressure to all the, the ferrule outers. Because even if you get a cable end, or like a gear cable outer and a ferrule, and you push the two together, um, you can't get them to seat completely, pro you know, completely you know, to the end. Um, so just by doing this method, it just allows everything to pull together and the tension you're putting through that shifter when you hold on to the mech is, is probably about as much, much uh, pressure as that, that shifter is going to apply to the mech under load anyway. Um, it's just you guarantee it's not going to happen while you're on the trail and it's not going to affect your shifting anyway. So another good thing as well, if you ever buy a new bike, just go outside after you bought the new bike, grab hold of the mech, run it through a few cycles like I've just done there, and if it goes out of shift, then you can just walk it back into the shop and say, look guys, the gears aren't working, can you quickly tune it for me? Because nine times out of ten, they may not do it in the bike shop. Um, shop I work at, we do, it's, it's something I, I ingrain into everyone that you have to do before the bike is a shop. Um, but this way, you just guarantee your gears are going to last a lot longer. When they're coming through the next service, you ain't going to have any problems. So now I've done that, I've increased the, um, the cable stretch. I'm just going to set the gears up, so just treat it as normal with the barrel adjuster. That's it, all done, good to go. Any comments, criticisms, questions, whatever, let me know down the